Hello guys, welcome to Zero to Hero. Today we are going to discuss about the performance of internet computer ICP. Many people still ask me in the comment section, hey Fabio, if internet computer is such an amazing project, why is internet computer not pumping? Why is it not following the rest of the market? So in this video, I will show you a ton of different data, indicators, charts and metrics that prove that actually internet computer is performing fairly well and that its performance is comparable to the other top altcoins in the market. So let's dig deeper in the rabbit hole. So let me show you now the chart of internet computer ICP against BTC. Why I'm comparing ICP to BTC and I will compare all these other altcoins to BTC. First of all, because we are in Bitcoin season, the Bitcoin dominance is high and 98% of the altcoins are getting absolutely annihilated against BTC. So let's take a look at this chart. We have this epic resistance area for internet computer and we were rejected five times from this area. However, we also have a massive support area and we have touched this area recently three different times and we have found support. Obviously now we are at the bottom of this support area and if we break down even further in the next weeks or months without being able to regain at least this consolidation area here, that would be bearish uh, for internet computer against BTC. However, let's take a look at the other top altcoins in the cryptoverse against BTC to see what are they doing. Look at Ethereum. From September 2022, there is a massive series of lower highs on this chart, which just shows that Ethereum is in a downtrend against BTC. Okay, what about BNB against uh, BTC? And just uh, take in mind, uh, keep in mind that I'm just showing you the top 20 altcoins in the cryptoverse. So I'm not comparing internet computer to some kind of meme coin that is 250th on CoinGecko. I'm comparing it with other top projects in the crypto space. The comparison is not possible against some kind of project that has a market cap of 50 or 100 million dollars because obviously it's very easy to pump and manipulate the price of a low cap altcoin. So just full disclosure. Okay, BNB also series of lower highs and downtrend and BNB cannot break out from this range here. Let's take a look at XRP also top 10 altcoin in downtrend since when since uh, 2018 so six years still in a heavy downtrend against btc and look at this breakdown here and i would show you the daily chart but it's not really relevant i want to just show you the trends of this altcoins okay ada same exact thing. We had a peak in 2021 and we never recovered after that on the BTC pair. Okay, let's, uh, let's take a look at the Dogecoin. Same situation, massive highs in 2021 and there is absolutely no, no, um, even no, no little sign of any kind of type of recovery here. Okay, let's take a look at Shiba Inu against BTC. Shiba Inu is a little bit of a different chart. However, this spike here was led by a ton of leverage. What I need to see now is a continuation to the upside. If this breaks down like a rock, in my opinion, nothing happened here. This is just purely speculation. Here in this area, we could see some kind of support for Shiba Inu if this keeps on dropping to the downside. However, I still need to check this chart. And this is still a meme coin, so also heavily, heavily speculative. Okay, AVAX, same sort of situation. From 2021, we did not manage to see a proper recovery. We obviously have seen uh, this pump here that um, managed to do something, but it did not manage to break this high 
of 2022 and we have seen now a drop to the downside. In order to track an uptrend, I need to see continuation to the upside. For now, there is no continuation to the upside as of yet. Okay, one of the top performers in my opinion, one of the altcoins that I like the most, my third big biggest allocation in the portfolio, Chainlink. If I would pull the weekly chart, you would see it looks exactly the same like all these altcoins that I have displayed so far. I want to show the daily chart so you can also see that very similarly to internet computer, did not manage to break this epic resistance area and it now is finding support at the lows of this range. Very similar to internet computer. Okay, let's take a look at Matic. Matic uh, did perform very well in the last cycle. However, now it's failing to recover and it's also in a downtrend against BTC. What about other projects like Toncoin, 19th in market cap? Also, look at this chart, a series of lower highs for Ton and the downtrend is continuing. Okay, let's take a look at Litecoin, 20, um, 21st in market cap and look at this, in a downtrend really since uh, 2000 and what was that? 2013, wow. Okay, uh, let's take this high here as um, something that we can take a look at, 2018, so in a downtrend since 2018. Same thing. So why is that so? Let's take a look at the Bitcoin dominance. The Bitcoin dominance has been pushing to the upside in the last two years. And I have mentioned so many times on this channel, when and we are still in this area, until we are still in this area, altcoins will heavily, heavily bleed against Bitcoin. If Bitcoin managers to break out of this epic resistance area to the upside, it will be again game over for the altcoins. They will heavily, heavily bleed against Bitcoin. How can Bitcoin even reach 58 or 60% of the Bitcoin dominance if Bitcoin now starts heavily breaking to the downside, reaches maybe 60 or 55k? This is possible. I believe that the altcoins will be completely annihilated and that BTC dominance will skyrocket once again. I hope that this doesn't happen. I hope we stay in an uptrend. However, this is a risk that I'm taking in consideration. Okay, now that we have, now that I have displayed that 90%, 95% of these altcoins in the top 20 are heavily bleeding against Bitcoin, there is only one altcoin that is performing very well against Bitcoin, and that is Solana at the moment. One only altcoin in the top 20, okay? Before showing Solana, let's take a look at the fear and greed index. We are still in extreme greed, but why? Because Bitcoin is leading the market, not the altcoins. We are not in an altcoin season. Let's take a look at the Google Trends for BTC. And when you see these three dots, this simply means that the data was not verified yet. However, the trend is up and retail investors, new retail investors are finally starting to look at the cryptoverse i see in the mass media on um, pages that i read for news that never mention cryptocurrencies they are starting to heavily publish articles about cryptocurrency which just proves that now the target audience are new retail investors that have no clue about cryptocurrencies let's take a um, chart for crypto here in the google trends and let's take a look at that also on the raise and but however nowhere near close to the all-time highs which simply just proves in my opinion that we have a still a long way to go here ethereum Look at this, also starting to recover, but not as explosively as, for example, Bitcoin or crypto searches and so on and so forth. The only one that managed to create a higher high in terms of Google Trends is Solana. And by coincidence, Solana is the only one that managed to perform 
very very well against BTC and that is currently heavily outperforming BTC and that it did not break down as heavily as others as of yet and is now finding support in this area. What does this mean? This simply means that once again 95% of the top altcoins are struggling against Bitcoin. It's not only internet computer, it's all the market. Okay, so let's take a look at the Google Trends for Internet Computer, still rock bottom, still in line with what we have seen in the previous two years because the herd, the new retail investors are not in the market as of yet. Of course, it is not guaranteed that new retail investors will jump on board during the altcoin season. Maybe they will pick some other altcoins uh, and they will not pick Internet Computer. This is always a risk. However, I'm tracking here long-term trends. Where are we in terms of the psychology of the market? This is also something that I'm taking a look at almost at a daily basis. We are, in my opinion, in a phase of enthusiasm at the moment. We were in a phase of optimism for the last couple of months of 2023 and in 2024 we have seen enthusiasm. We are not in a phase of euphoria, we are not in a phase of overconfidence. Why? Because this happens in the old coin season. Are we in the old coin season yet? No, we are not. The market is currently, as you have seen, by all these old coins heavily struggling against Bitcoin. Let's take a look at one more proof, the historical snapshot in the last bull market in 2021. So BTC is currently at a higher price compared to the last bull market. Let's see if other altcoins are at a higher price. Ethereum, no it's not. Binance coin, BNB, no it is not. Solana did not reach $200 yet. ADA far far away from $1.5. XRP far away from $0.96. Polkadot far, far away from $35 and so on and so forth. Look at this AVEX. Um, however, um, what I want to mention here is really that uh, people are very impatient and they tend to cherry pick altcoins. They tend to find a random altcoin that is maybe even a low cap altcoin and they point the finger and say, hey, look at this altcoin. It did a thousand X. Great, fantastic, good for you, congratulations. But this is not the general trend of the market. This is just cherry picking certain altcoins, which I don't like to do because I'm looking at the market as a whole. Okay, so let's take a look at internet computer really to see where we stand. Market cap of 6.4 billion dollars. Once again, I want to compare it with the top 20 projects because I believe that internet computer is potentially a top 10 project in the current cycle. Therefore, I will not compare it to an altcoin that is not even in the top 100 and that is a meme coin on top of that that is doing extremely well at the moment. Once again, congratulations if you hold this meme coin. Good for you. However, it's not something that we can compare to internet computer. Why? Because low cap altcoins are heavily, heavily um, speculative they can uh, have a ton of leverage in them that means that the price will go up will skyrocket but when it starts to tank just take your parachute because you are going to get smacked on the wave down and obviously um, once again it's just a matter of market cap okay uh, let's now take a look at something that we all want to see here the chart of internet computer against the usdt and as we may see here internet computer is performing fairly well in the last uh, six months from three dollars to right now around 14 dollars that means that we have made more than a 4x 4.5x in the matter of six months which in my opinion that's absolutely great if we compare it at the top 20 cryptocurrencies in the crypto space this is something very very good okay um what about um the technical analysis of this chart i did provide my opinion and i want to just highlight one more time that there is still a risk that we might be in a wave two 
and why is that so we have completed the wave one now i'm tracking the wave two and i mentioned multiple times that there are two possible scenarios one scenario is the short-term bullish long-term bullish scenario a b c wave two completed and now we are in a wave three however this structure here on the chart does not give me any reason to believe that we are in wave three yet this is why i still lean towards the long-term bullish short-term bearish scenario a b c completion of a wave a a b c completion of an overshooting wave b on this chart and a b c completion of a wave c that will complete a macro wave too and here are your price targets for this wave too and as you may see it could go as low as five dollars which is the reality of this chart and this could absolutely ca happen and i'm prepared for this um, scenario i'm prepared for all the possible scenarios however i'm focusing towards the most likely scenarios in the market and this is why many people wrote me hey but this wave theory is just pointless it doesn't work no the uh, the elliott wave theory actually if we are going to take in consideration long-term uh, scenarios is the theory that gave me the most success in my trading um, career and uh, what i would want to emphasize compared to other um, theories is that this theory tracks very well the chart on the long term it's not so good to day trading i'm not using it to day trade i'm not day trading myself because i don't want to use margin i don't want to use leverage it is very risky however what i want to do is track long term trends and the long term trend here is higher you cannot say that this chart looks bearish this chart looks bullish therefore i'm focusing primarily on the bullish scenario if we break this um, support area of course the chart will look bearish there is no support left and we could even push down to new bear market lows however why would i focus on this scenario when we are at 14 dollars when we are in an uptrend it's no point so this theory helps us to sort and to pick the most relevant and most likely scenarios there are thousands of possibilities in the market it could go to zero tomorrow as it could go to thousand dollars tomorrow is this likely no it's not therefore we are picking the most likely theories okay i want to end this video by mentioning once again and uh what is the difference between this meme coins and internet computer why are people still cherry picking some bitcoins and uh, some um, meme, meme coins and so on and so forth first of all because in the market there are multiple type of investors and all these investors that are coming to my videos to mention that internet computer is currently performing poorly they are speculators and if you're a speculator there might be better opportunities than internet computer in the short term of course that meme coins to the up as a potential to the upside all these low cap altcoins they have multiple access to the upside and my crypto portfolio i did display it i'm very very open about what i'm doing and i have a few altcoins that are speculative very speculative and i hold them because i believe they will do very well however the biggest chunk of my portfolio is 50% Bitcoin, 10% internet computer, 5% Chainlink. 65% of my portfolio is in three projects that I believe that long term have a good chance to stay around, especially Bitcoin. Okay, this is why also when it comes to internet computer, I'm mostly treating it as a medium to long term play as 70% of my allocation is treated as a medium to long-term allocation why i hold a short-term speculative allocation because i want to pay myself off as soon as possible i want 
to be able, even if I sell 30% of my allocation at $10 billion in market cap and 20% of my allocation at $15 billion in market cap, since my cost basis is so low, I will be able almost to cover 100% of my initial investment. I can still speculate over this other, um, let's say, over the other 50% of my speculative position to take profits and then I can play this as a medium to long term game without any sort of pressure. This is my plan. This plan might not be applicable for you. Why? Because probably you have a different risk tolerance. You have a different, you are in a different age group. You might have different liquidity needs and so on and so forth. Okay, guys, so I want to end this video by mentioning once again that not everything is so black as uh, these people will try to um, tell you. Uh, I believe that Internet Computer is still performing in line with the rest of the market, which means that is bleeding against BTC, even though uh, initially it has performed very well against Bitcoin. It's still holding support. I still believe that when the altcoin season will come, Internet computer is going to do well. However, please let's put things in perspective. Internet computer is not a low cap altcoin. It has $6 billion in terms of market cap. Therefore, you cannot expect it to do 100,000 access when other projects like uh, that have 50 million or 100 million dollars they could do the 100 access but they are extremely risky you could cherry pick hundreds of them and maybe two or three of them will do well and the others will just go to zero because they're worthless okay so obviously there is also a risk of uh, the fact that there will be distribution and unlocks of uh, vested uh, internet computer tokens. This is also a risk to take in mind. And I have mentioned multiple times the risks in previous videos. So I'm not only focusing on the positives, but also on the risks. Having said that, guys, if you like the content, please give me a big fat thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.